Welcome back, TTM Trades. Wanted to record a quick video. I haven't recorded a video in a minute. Uh, my apologies. Been trading a lot of Apple lately, um, which pretty much moves hand in hand with ticker SPY. Uh, but I did want to go back. I tried to just do a quick post on SPY and the intraday reversal I was starting to see uh, when I mentioned. Uh, I said back on May 6th that I was starting to see. Um, some selling pressure coming into play. Um, the PMO was starting to trend downwards. We could see that uh, the two-hour chart was going into a consolidation cycle and the daily chart was going into a consolidation cycle. So we did get a shakeout period where the market had a quick run-up and then it just finally dumped off. And a lot of the reason the market is dumping off just it's just it's a lot of interest rate scares and, and, and a lot of other things, uh, but definitely the whole... Uh, or deal with interest rates going up and interest rates going up kind of hurts future earnings on a lot of tech stocks uh, or growth stocks. Um, so you're starting to see the tech sector kind of dump really hard, which is why I've been playing Apple uh, just to be involved in that tech sector and the dumping of the tech sector. Uh, but what do I see us going from here? All right. Ticket SPY, just to update. So looking at ticket SPY, Remember, this 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 is the weekly chart and daily chart. This top one standard deviation Bollinger Band has been the key as far as supporting this uptrend that has been going on since the March 20, 2020 drop. All right. Uh, as you can see, each time we pull back, you know, support, 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 support. Each time we tap it, we get a bounce off and we start our next leg up. So as you can see now, we're kind of sitting dead smack on top of this and if you can see uh we did dip down below that top one standard deviation chart in the weekly but you can see in the day today we started seeing some slight buying to close right above it um so what does that leave us we still have a thursday and friday to kind of see how the market is going to shake out okay um as far as this weekly uptrend this weekly uptrend is still very strong okay now, how far is it from its mean? And when I say the mean, I'm talking about the 150 SMA. Everything must return to its mean. All right. Um, it has to return to its average sooner or later to balance out the downtrend and or uptrend. And what I mean by that, when I say the mean, if you look at this yellow line, 150 SMA, every time we had deep pullbacks in 2011, boom, hit that yellow line, run up, pull back in uh, 2015. Hit the mean, the 150 SMA had another run up, another deep pullback in 2018 of December. I remember that one. Again, hit his mean run up. And then the late March of 2020, where we dipped way below the mean, but eventually, uh, big time buyers saw a lot of value buying down in this price range. And then it ran back up. So sooner or later, we all have to come back down to the mean. And this is what a lot of people are planning for. Uh, is this strong pullback down to its mean, which is currently sitting at 312. Now, I, I don't want to talk about going back down to 312. That's that's a long shot uh, before we can get back down to that range. But again, just looking at this top one standard deviation, we are sitting at 404.95, and we'll just say 405 to round it out. So sliding the daily chart over to the right and bringing the two hour to the left. I don't want to go too deep in the macros. We'll stop here at the two hour chart. Um, you could see uh that we are sitting right around that 405 area all right so tomorrow is going to be very key and again you can see as we dip down into that key area on that weekly chart you can see the spike in volume coming into play here um we just need to see if this buying pressure will hold 405 going into closing out this week here all right now we did have that intraday volatility as far as the steep drop uh, but again, that steep drop intraday, which is just a pullback on the day to day chart, um, has put the chart, the daily chart in a consolidation cycle. All right. Uh, price action was constantly pushing out of the bands, pushing, 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 it started to slow down and it had issues pushing back into the band. Hence why the band started to squeeze. And then we get this drop here, which now the bands are readjusting and squeezing around the price action, which pushed the day to day chart in a consolidation cycle. So two things happen <clears throat> going into tomorrow and Friday, and this is kind of what I expect. 
Um, just looking at the two hour chart, you can see that we are pretty oversold and we are oversold dearly. And I use a 30 period RSI, not a 14 period RSI. So I can only imagine how deep over how deeply oversold we are on the uh, 14 period RSI. As again, I use a 30 period RSI, but we are pretty oversold and we are below that yellow line. OK. Uh, which is where I like to kind of look to start buying for the next bounce. As you can see here, we dip down to that uh, 40 area, the yellow line, which is pretty oversold, run up, dip down to that 40 area, yellow line, another run up, and again. All right, so I pretty look, pretty much look for it when we dip down into this area. That's why I got to mark as the golden area before we get another run up. So what I see here is we are pretty oversold. And we are sitting right on top of the weekly's top one standard deviation sitting at 405. So one or two scenarios happen here. All right. Going into tomorrow, we might see one last push to the downside and then some buy-in coming into play to close us above this 405, possibly retesting 408 and 411, which are now areas of resistance and that we have broke through these levels as far as the 150 SMA and the bottom one standard deviation Bollinger Bands. You can see we gap down below it. And then we attempted to get back above and got rejected and started a sell off. All right. But we are sitting right on top of a key support area. All right. So I do expect on Thursday and Friday, we start to see some slight buying coming into play and to run the price action back up to this 408 to 411, 412 area. Now, if we get up to this bottom one standard deviation, uh, Bollinger Band on the two hour chart and get rejected then that will signify that this downtrend will continue, uh, which is currently, again, sitting at 411.50. If we start the rally and we get above that 411.50 and attempt 416 and to get rejected and come back down and find support on that bottom one standard deviation Bollinger Band, then this may pull us out that downtrend and start a consolidation uh, pattern as far as the bottoms go to possibly start another rally as far as the next leg. All right. Um, but it just depends. Again, it always comes down to this top one standard deviation uh, and what we do next. Now, if we violate that top one standard deviation on the weekly chart, again, which is sitting at four or five, um, and we break through that on heavy volume and we close the week below that, um, then that would possibly leave room for us to, uh, again, dip down to this 382 area where the uh, weekly charts middle Bollinger Band is currently sitting at 382 and 150 SMA as it constantly ticks up, uh, currently sitting at 379 and 380. But that 380 to 382 area is a possibility, uh, which would put us back down here uh, in this key level of support area where there was a lot of uh, buying uh, pressure at on both of these dips. So we'll kind of see what happens. Uh, if we get back down into that 380 to 382 range. But right now, uh, we need to break 405 on heavy volume uh, before we can start talking about that 382 range down here uh, where the middle BB is currently sitting. Now, the overall setup, is it possible uh, that we get down in this 382? Yes. Uh, but again, like I said, I think we may have a slight intraday bounce here going into tomorrow. Uh, to retest some old resistance levels uh, before we ultimately break through that 405. Uh, but till next time, CTM trades.